good day guys okay so um in this video i want to talk about one of the past year questions from chapter three right momentum and impulse and for this particular case we are looking at the paper from 2014-15 semester one examination all right so i won't really bother with the first one which is the um, so 1a that is state the principle of conservation of momentum you can find the solution in any textbook so the conservation of momentum uh, the principle of momentum conservation says that for any closed system right momentum before and after the collision is conserved i want to focus on the second question calculation part so let's look at it right? so b 6 a 6.25 kilogram trolley moving with the velocity of 5.5 meters per second hits a stationary 1.2 kilogram trolley. After the collision, the trolleys stick together and move with a constant velocity. Calculate the velocity after the, velo the collision and the loss of kinetic energy. So the first one that we know we, we would like to talk about, okay, we would like to draw actually, is okay. I have a box. It is 6.25 kilograms in mass and it is moving at 5.5 meters per second in that direction. And it collides with another trolley, sorry, 1.2 kilograms. And this is, mo it is not moving, so it is stationary. So when it's stationary, we put 0 meters per second, okay? Okay, so I can apply conservation of momentum by remembering that. <clears throat> that the final so after the collision the final momentum must be equal to the initial total momentum all right so that means okay i can expand this i can say okay p is equals to mv so if they stick together afterwards i can easily say that okay m1 plus m2 right times the velocity because they're moving together at constant velocity must be equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay and let's just lay, um, make sure that we know what we're talking about one and two this is trolley number one this is trolley number two okay now looking at this equation we can immediately get rid of this one because v2 is zero and zero times any number is still zero okay so now we can rearrange this equation to get v which is the final velocity after the collision so v is equals to m1 v1 over m1 plus m2 which is merely so that is 6.25 times 5.5 all right over 6.25 plus 1.2 so that is our final velocity and that should be or if you calculate it you will get approximately 4.61 kilo uh, sorry not kilograms meters per second okay so it's as simple as that okay now we should look at the loss of kinetic energy so i will put there so uh, b2 right loss of kinetic energy i will put the el equals to the final minus the initial now of course you can you can um, change that which is ei minus ef but either way we're looking for the loss so the positive and negative does not really matter i'll just put the modulus there so remembering that e ek is equals to half mv square i can write down el so the loss of kinetic energy is equals to half because we know both of them has half right mv square so in the final situation we have m1 plus m2 right m1 plus m2 okay and then we have the final velocity right squared minus Okay, in the initial case, we only have M1. So M1 again, um, and then V1, which is the initial velocity for uh, trolley 1, squared. Okay, so then EL is 0 0.5, right, times, so 6.25 plus 1.2 is 7.45, 7.45. 
7.45 times 4.61 squared minus 6.25 5 times v1 which is 5.5 .5 squared okay so if you plug that in let me just close the bracket there we go if we plug that in what we will get is around or approximately 15.7 joules so that is the energy lost all right so that is the solution okay so I'll see you in the next video or that way I discuss more questions like this. Let me know if you want questions like this to be discussed and if you have any requests on any of the past year, let me know. Okay, I am more than happy to uh, discuss with you the solutions to those questions. Alright, thank you very much.